The problem we addressed is the disproportionately high children's mortality in Sub-Saharan Africa. In the poorest area of the world, infectious diseases claim hundreds of thousands of lives, sometimes remaining neglected due to underfunding of needed vaccines. We focused on one enteric disease at increasing antimicrobial resistance and high mortality rate, setting up a collaboration model inspired by SDG 17 to accelerate availability of a vaccine against invasive non-typhoidal salmonellosis, a truly neglected disease of poverty, claiming between 50 and 100,000 lives per year, mainly children. Today, technology allows us to progress low-priority candidate vaccines against neglected diseases by targeted collaborations. Our solution is based on a champion to catalyze funds and steer the process, a vaccine company to provide need know-how and timely develop of an affordable vaccine, one or more academic partners to generate scientific evidence. The innovative aspect of this solution is the focused not-for-profit organization acting as a catalyst, also scientifically, between funders, industry, and academic researchers that not always have the option or time to raise funds or the expertise for a timely development across continents. Our solution had to face two challenges. First, advanced development of a chronically underfunded vaccine against the neglected disease of poverty. So, with a seed grant from the Tuscany region in Italy, we funded preclinical work and epidemiological modeling, creating the expertise and the basis to obtain two EU projects for a total of 12.6 million euros to fund clinical development and epidemiological research. The 2020 edition of the GFinder report by the Policy Cures Research Institute tracked the increase in funding from the EU. Second, we had to increase knowledge on this neglected disease to support vaccine evaluation. Fondazione Sclavo developed a disease transmission model and vaccine deployment scenarios that were presented with others to WHO to progress vaccine evaluation. Our collaboration model was actually scaled up and reproduced. The key is understanding the reasons why a solution is remaining unfunded, set up and scientifically lead a group of targeted partners contributing their specific know-how and gaining directly or indirectly from the effort. In doing so, the model overcame the financial barriers, accessing funds for a swift development, and ultimately addressing the issue.